If you've been paying attention in the last five years, you've likely noticed a significant increase in the number of manufacturers getting involved in humanoid robot production. In China, many manufacturers like Unitree, Kepler Forerunner, and Xiaomi are fiercely competing in this technology sector. But in the US, the race is even more fire with Boston Dynamics, Figure AI, NVIDIA, and Tesla. It's no coincidence that Elon Musk has shifted his focus from Tesla EVs to robots. His future vision has become clear as many of us desire to have a homemaker in our family. This is why Musk is ramping up for the production of Optimus robots and has announced plans to sell them next year. However, if we were to say that the Tesla bot isn't easy to buy, would you believe it? We wouldn't either, but it's the truth. There are many humanoid robot manufacturers today, but when it comes to uniqueness, Optimus stands out. It's not famous for being the most advanced robot in the world because the truth is there are many criteria where it still can't match up to its competitors, especially with its speed of 0.6 meters a second, which even ranks at the bottom of the leaderboard. So why do people still find themselves attracted to it and more surprisingly want to own it? We believe there are at least two main reasons why Optimus has gone viral. The first reason is quite simple. It's because it's a Tesla product. Yeah, that's right. It's like when you like and buy a pair of Nike shoes just because it's a big brand, you don't really care much about the quality of the shoes. You just assume that if it's from this brand, it's going to be good. Tesla electric cars have proven their excellence and perfection, so there's no reason for people to doubt Optimus. The second reason why Optimus is getting hotter and hotter is definitely thanks to the free promotion from Elon Musk, with his many promises of low prices, world-leading technology, and improvements that allow robots to function similarly to humans, and especially the production of millions of units per year for this humanoid robot. With those promises, how can people ignore it? Musk once said that people will want an Optimus or even more than one. Of course, this isn't wrong because the demand for Optimus is predicted by many analysts to greatly surpass that of EVs. Their potential will convince anyone. But now the question is, is Optimus really easy to buy? Certainly it's not because Tesla bought is a product of AI, a product that requires control and is not cheap for everyone to get access to. Most importantly, it won't be soon to hit the market. At this point, you think we're talking nonsense because we're going against what the manufacturer or, more accurately, the CEO of the manufacturer has promised. Elon may be right and we may be wrong, but at least we have reasons to prove that owning a humanoid robot from the manufacturer is something not everyone can do. There are standards set for purchasing a robot that many people may not meet the requirements for. The first reason making it really difficult to purchase this robot is that Tesla may not release it for sale until the manufacturer has enough of them for its factories. And if slightly more negative, it could even involve other companies of Elon Musk's. This is the reason why we confidently assert that even if you have the money, it's kind of hard to own them. Recently, Tesla posts a user-friendly TSLA investor voting guide using Optimus. It was Optimus showing users of the social media platform how they can vote for the proposals at the 2024 Cyber Roundup. This means that Optimus was photographed performing human tasks, like typing on a keyboard, using a mouse, holding a smartphone carefully, holding a paper envelope, talking on the phone, and writing on a piece of paper, among many other activities. The images are quite impressive as they show Optimus's hands seemingly performing very human-like tasks. According to Tesla bot engineer Giuliani Bars, who confirmed this in a post on X, these are not CGI images. It can be seen that Tesla is trying very hard to promote Optimus and maximize their mission to help the company. This is the reason why Tesla will not sell them to outside customers anytime soon, because they really need a lot of Optimus to support the manufacturer's work. Uh, we are able to do simple factory tasks, or at least I should say factory tasks in the lab. We, we, do, we do think we will have Optimus um, in limited production in the factory, in the actual factory itself, doing useful tasks before the end of this year. Here's what Musk shared during Tesla's first quarter 2024 earnings call. We don't believe Tesla will choose to commercialize Optimus in 2025, as Musk previously stated. Selling them externally isn't necessarily the best option for Tesla, especially because there's no guarantee it'll be effective for tasks outside the factory. So far, the Optimus robot hasn't even fully maximized its potential utilities, and selling them to customers would be too risky a move for someone as prudent as Elon to make. The fact that Elon is firing 10% of his workforce of up to 14,000 workers at his factories is a clear demonstration of the need to use Optimus to replace humans in the factory.
It's not wrong for many to believe that until Tesla can reach the stage where Optimus can make another Optimus, the quantity is not going to be available to outside customers. We believe Tesla will eventually use them within Tesla, SpaceX, the Boring Company, and even Neuralink, as well as with various suppliers and partner companies. This could consume tens of thousands of units and is appropriate given that Optimus is still in the beta stage. Specifically, to fully automate the production lines at its five operating Tesla factories, Elon Musk would need at least 140,000 robots. However, in reality, Tesla would only require around 10,000 units because Optimus can never entirely replace humans to handle most tasks in the factory on its own. It can only substitute for surplus or less critical positions, such as employees who work daily with 4680 battery cells. In the latest video, Optimus performed this task excellently. The remaining units will primarily go to Tesla's commercial partners as they can purchase more Optimus robots and pay significantly better than individual external customers. In short, these commercial companies make Optimus more profitable. Therefore, selling them to the public won't be happening anytime soon. In the first quarter 2024 earnings call, Musk also said, I think we, we may be able to sell it externally by the end of next year. Now, these are just, just guesses. Musk's prediction of selling them by the end of next year is definitely wrong. You know he's not good at keeping his promises about time and price of products. This time, Musk was also not sure about his progress, so he ended up saying, these are just guesses. Yes, quite interesting. It'd be a shame for us to say this because at the very least it would disappoint those who are expecting this robot to go on sale. But even when Tesla starts producing 10,000 units per month, they won't be selling them to the external customer anytime soon. At some point, yes, Tesla will sell the Optimus to the general public, much like you can go buy a new car or robot in the sales department. But ultimately, we don't think it's happening until after 2026 where we can buy an Optimus robot and take it home the same day. Why is Optimus not cheap enough for the masses to buy? Optimus is hard to produce, yes. Optimus is expensive technology, also yes. And Optimus can make hundreds of thousands of dollars for its owners. Yes, this is also true. So there's no reason for Tesla to sell these humanoid robots at a low price, as Musk has revealed many times. Under $20,000 is a huge hype that makes it hard for most of us to believe. At the real price point of this technology, the majority might have a hard time buying them. So, how much is Optimus actually worth? When responding to a Tesla owner asking if the Optimus would cost around 25 to 30 grand, Musk admitted that it was a lot more complex than an electric car, meaning that in low volumes it would require a lot of work and money until Tesla reached high volumes, as Musk noted that it would get less so over time. This suggests that the Tesla bot, at least in the long run, could very well be an affordable product that's affordable to a large number of consumers. Now, more importantly, however, is how much the Tesla bot will initially cost. Many analysts have made predictions, with some estimating it to be over $100,000. They believe that Optimus is not a simple product that can be sold cheaply from the get-go. Looking at the average price of humanoid robots from other companies like Boston Dynamics, Xiaomi, or Unitree, all of which are expected to sell their robots for over $100,000. Furthermore, humanoid robots like Optimus provide tens of thousands of dollars in utility value each year. Therefore, a price point of $20,000 may only happen after 2030. Are you familiar with the full self-driving software on Tesla's EVs? Customers, they gotta spend $12,000 to own that. Optimus Robot also integrates this software along with the advanced end-to-end -end neural network, which is highly valuable. Just these two features alone already drive up the price of Optimus well beyond what Elon suggested. Not to mention your drivetrains, batteries, wiring components, all that is not cheap. Elon mentioned Optimus would be cheaper than an EV, but it's amusing that when the CEO didn't specify which car, half the Model 3 would make sense, but it'd be a different story if he hinted at half of a second-generation Roadster. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. We still remember the first day of the initial unveiling of Optimus when it was still a prototype called Bumblebee. Musk mentioned that it might be further refined and put into production as early as 2023, as predicted. Yeah, in the end, that did not happen. So many promises from Elon always end up going off track, which makes us lose faith in what he says. Why would Tesla offer terms to Optimus buyers? Uh, you know, governed by some laws of robotics. Um, that uh, you cannot uh, overcome. As we explained at the beginning of the video, buying a humanoid robot like Optimus is not easy because it's an AI product that needs control. Musk also emphasized this in particular. I think we have to be careful about Optimus being potentially uh, used uh, in ways that are bad, because uh, that is one of the possible things to do. You know, we'd provide Optimus 
where you can provide instructions to Optimus. Before Tesla decides to sell a robot like Optimus to the public, they'll make sure that all the safety and legal requirements are strictly followed by customers, because as Musk once said, if AI is used for bad purposes, it'll be much more dangerous than nukes. And it's hard to imagine if Optimus is given to terrorists, you know, a robot holding the AK-47 and shooting into something, that's not hard to imagine. So setting high conditions and requirements for customers who want to own an Optimus is not only necessary, but also a commitment to safety and responsibility. These standards can include age, occupation, and geographic location of the customer, as well as the purpose of using the robot. As for age, Tesla could set a minimum age limit to at least 18 years old, ensuring users are mature enough to understand and use the robot safely and effectively. Before selling them, Tesla would definitely verify the identity of customers quite strictly. Not stopping there, the manufacturer could also ask users to provide information about their occupation to ensure that they are using Optimus legally. The purpose of use is one of the most important factors Tesla will consider. As we mentioned earlier, the ambition for Optimus is going to make everyone want one. Optimus can help save costs, make money, or anything humans can do, so considering that purpose is something that Tesla may scrutinize quite closely. Don't worry about being able to lie. Every process and task of Optimus will be reported on Tesla's system, and the manufacturer will immediately confiscate your robot or even sue you if customers violate the laws outlined in the contract. So it's not going to be easy for Tesla to hand over their robots to those with malicious intent. Before purchasing, Tesla may require customers to provide detailed information about the use of the robot, ensuring that it will be applied for legitimate purposes and not pose a danger or nuisance to society. Geography is also an important factor, as legal and safety regulations can vary depending on where in the world you are. Tesla may have strict controls in place allowing Optimus to be only sold in approved areas that meet safety standards. Why does Tesla need Optimus for its Gigafactory instead of selling it? After the massive layoffs of 14,000 employees at its factories, we've never seen that Tesla truly needs robots in their factories like they do now. You know the reason Elon fired the team building the supercharger station? The biggest reason the team was found to be dishonest and inefficient. So, what if Optimus could change all the shortcomings of human labor to help Tesla accelerate its recovery after a period of serious decline? Optimus is not capable of doing that right now because its quantity and functionality are still quite limited. However, when considering around the year 2030, we can't imagine what will happen inside Tesla's Gigafactories. What if we witness these robots make a Model Y autonomously, or more accurately, what if we discover a fully automated assembly line? Absolutely. The impact of Tesla's Optimus robot, if developed on a large scale as many analysts predict, will undoubtedly reshape the future of the industry. These humanoid robots will surpass humans in many aspects, especially benefiting tech companies like Tesla. With the ability to operate tirelessly 24-7, Optimus ensures continuous performance without fatigue or decline like us humans. The accuracy rate of humans has never surpassed that of machines, especially a humanoid robot with multiple sensors and a primarily operating based on an end-to-end -end neural network like Optimus. We believe Tesla will minimize the margin of error in tasks this robot can perform, thereby not only eliminating errors caused by humans, but also ensuring consistent accuracy in every task. The clearest evidence we found is that Optimus can automatically rectify mistakes immediately after unsuccessfully arranging a 4680 battery cell into a tray. Therefore, concerns about Optimus making errors and overlooking mistakes are almost non-existent. And what if Optimus helped minimize work accidents inside Tesla's factory? The development of machinery and production line inside Tesla's factories is increasing along with the number of vehicles and the goals of the manufacturer, along with the expansion of production areas alongside Gigafactories. This means Tesla is going to need more labor in the future, and the accident rate will also increase, especially in areas making hazardous batteries. By some coincidence, Tesla has introduced the impressive ability of Optimus with the 4680 battery cells. This could very well be an effort for this robot to replace employees in battery production areas filled with air pollution. Not only pollution, but also hazardous jobs exist extensively within Tesla's factories. Using Optimus helps minimize workplace injuries by replacing humans in dangerous tasks, which is quite necessary. Optimus's advanced machine learning and artificial intelligence capabilities allow it to adapt quickly to various roles in production, easily detecting problems much earlier than us humans. For example, emitting warning lights or sounding alarm bells to report incidents. These are not difficult for Tesla to integrate into high-end humanoid robot like Optimus. 
putting its robots into factories may not generate huge profits initially because it takes time to adapt to the task and it's more of a testing process. But there's no denying that the deployment of Optimus brings huge economic benefits in the long run for Elon and Tesla. Not only does it save operating costs, Optimus also improves overall efficiency and facilitates production expansion that human labor can hardly achieve. In particular, Optimus can operate in harsh conditions, high temperature environments, or areas that require extremely high precision, expanding the business's operational capabilities to areas that humans cannot. Not only does Optimus have the advantage of job efficiency, but it also surpasses in management and overall cost compared to human labor. It doesn't require benefits like health insurance, social security, retirement benefits, and it doesn't face issues like dissatisfaction with working conditions, workplace disputes, or the need to rest. Furthermore, using Optimus eliminates the complexity of labor union negotiations or wage increase demands, thereby simplifying workforce management and reducing administrative and personnel costs. Optimus is a simple and cost-effective solution to tasks that require human-related considerations. Hundreds of millions of workers worldwide could be replaced cost-effectively by Tesla's humanoid robots without any further breakthroughs in AI. With all these outstanding benefits, Optimus is not only a huge step forward in robotics technology, but a quantum leap in the way we view and use labor in manufacturing. But in the end, it's still not easy for external customers to buy them. So, what do you think about buying a humanoid robot like Optimus? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching our video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.